Hello and welcome to I Mine Blocks. I'm Lee and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to mine Grin. So Grin is a new coin, it's not released just yet, it's actually going to be released on the 15th of January. But I'm showing you this now to kind of get ahead of the game, uh, beat everyone else, get this video out there and get you guys up and mining, uh, so literally right from the get-go. So what I'm going to show you is how to mine using the test net. But as soon as the network goes live, you can use exactly the same details and you can kind of carry on. So the miner that I'm going to be showing you is a CPU miner and it is for Linux based systems. Um, there is also some GPU miners coming. I'll do separate videos for those um, shortly after this one. Um, but that's what I'm going to be covering in this video today. So we're going to be jumping into it in just a moment. But first, can you please like this video? If you like my videos and my content, please like this video. It's super important that you do that because it helps me get more exposure on YouTube. Um, and then obviously I can make more of these kind of videos and as we go forward. So anyway, that's all that intro being said. Uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so how to mine Grin using the CPU miner. So this is a Linux based CPU miner. Uh, like I said, there is some Nvidia and AMD GPU miners coming soon, but I'll cover those in separate videos. So I'll be using a um, Ubuntu, I'm gonna be using a VPS, but you can use a dedicated machine or you can use um, a virtual machine using like VirtualBox on your Windows installation or however you want to do it but um, I'll be using Ubuntu 18.04, uh, I think it is, and I'll be using it via a VPS. So I've done VPS videos before, and this will be pretty much um, the same. So what I need to do is open up a new terminal. So I'm gonna do that using uh, PuTTY, and then I need to log in. So it's root, um, and the, the IP address for this VPS. Um, I'm not concerned about sharing the IP, I'll only be using it for this one video, so don't try and um, attack it or anything daft. Um, so anyway, we open up a new terminal window, and we connect to it like so, and then we need to log in. So now that we are logged in, and like I say, the current version that we're using is Ubuntu, it's 18.04.1. So I've got this helpful um, file which is notepad file and I've kind of got all the information all the commands and everything that we need on here and I'll post that in the description so you guys can literally just copy and paste it and follow along uh, using this guide so just to quickly mention the guy that wrote the original guide so the guy that wrote that the original guide is from um, I believe it's mwgrinpool.com I think this guy is associated with it in some way but he is called uh, Blade Doyle so he wrote the original guide and that's the one that I'm using as the basis for this video so very helpful so anyway we're going to just be copy and pasting this text into our terminal and then just sort of following along so first of all we need to make a directory and then we're just going to go inside that directory. Um, I just want to update the installation for all of our various files. I, I did do it without it, but then one or two of the files were not um, there correctly. So we'll just do a quick update. And then we're going to get all of our programs that we're going to need because we're going to need to build this miner. And we're just going to paste all that. Yes, yeah, so you might get a pop up like this. Uh, just keep the local version, that's fine. Just press enter and again enter. Okay, so that's completed. So, next part we need to install um, Rust. So, again, just copy and paste. Uh, here it's, you've got a, a few different options. You want to choose option one, proceed with the installation. So, one and enter. So that's completed. So we just need to set a um, directory there. So next line, copy and paste again. So that's that done. So now we need to um, clone the miner. So it's git clone and then the GitHub address of the miner. So we've got that. Then we want to go into the miner folder. And then there's just a, um, a module update. So we wanna use that as well. So I believe this miner, it's the first time that I'm kind of getting familiar with it, but I believe it also includes some GPU miners. I'm, I'm not too sure yet. So I think that's what these sub modules um, are. 
So the next part is this cat um, command. So what we're trying to find out is whether our CPUs um, support the AVX uh, feature. So we uh, copy and paste and press enter. So this number here where I've got this four, basically that confirms that we have at least AVX or higher. So if it's zero, you don't have any AVX, so you don't use the next command. But if it's any number higher than zero, then you want to use this next line as well. So if it's zero, don't use this line. If it's anything higher than zero, then use this next part. Yeah, sorry for the confusion there. Sorry, that's, um, I will confirm that line. I think it should not have that extra piece. So I'm just going to double check and I will, um, yeah, that looks right. So I'm just going to double check and I'll, I'll, I'll correct that line so that when you copy and paste it, it will be correct. I think it's just because uh, from the original working file, they had a um, like a line space at the end of the, the line there. Okay, so we want to do the cargo build now. So it's going to build the miner. This will take um, a little bit of time, probably around I don't know, five minutes, something like that. Okay, so that has completed. Um, in my case, it took three minutes and 39 seconds. So roughly about that long for you guys. So the next part is we need to um, edit a file. And uh, what this does is it sets the pool server address. So effectively, it's um, editing this grin minertoto this tomel file. So it's going to set the server, uh, the pool address. So we copy and paste that and press enter because we're going to be mining at this mwgrinpool.com. Next part is we need to set a username. So we're going to do this using this command here. So you copy and paste that and press enter and it'll ask us for a username. So you want to choose something um, unique. So first we enter a username and enter. And next we need to enter a strong password. So just copy and paste that. And that asks us for a password. So this is our password, username and password for the pool. So you don't want to use it. Um, don't use any generic um, passwords or anything or anything that you've used before. Just set a, a brand new username and password completely for this um, instance. Uh, there's also and uh, later on you'll see with regards to the payment processing um, and are you going to need these details as well so you want to keep them safe and secure and unique so we choose a password and press enter so next we want to confirm how many cpu cores we've got so in this case i already know that we've got what we've got we've got four because it's like a vps but if not you just copy and paste this next line and it tells you how many CPU cores you've got. So you can see here, number four, obviously indicates four cores. So the next line um, is basically the instruction to kind of start the, mi the miner and what it asks, or what it will ask for you is how many CPU cores that you want to use or threads. So we, we copy and paste and press enter again, and it's gonna ask us for a number of processors. In this case, I'm just gonna use one. Um, I have used uh, three and four, but sometimes the miner would crash. So um, obviously as it, we get nearer and nearer to release date, there'll be better, more stable versions of the miner. Um, so you should be able to use um, more more cores and run it more reliably. Um, but for the demonstration, I'm just gonna use one, one core um, because obviously I don't want it to crash. But try it yourself. If it does crash, you can just restart it. So one core and press enter. So the Miner will have started in the background. So then you can use this next command, which is like a, uh, a dashboard or a monitor uh, panel. So you paste that. And then you'll see there's a little bit of information. So you can see that the connection status, it says connected to Grin server and the pool that we're mining at. So it's stratum.mwgrinpool.com and also the pool port. And then we've got a mining status, it's starting the miner and it will update from this point onwards. So I'll just give it a few minutes and then we can kind of come back and check on it. And um, I'll give you a little bit more information about this. Okay, so we've been running for a few minutes now and we've got a little bit of um, information in terms of t statistics. 
So if you look at this mining status line, and I've just resized the window just because you can see a bit more information from it. But we've got mining status, mining at height. So you've got the block height. Like I said, it's currently on testnet, but obviously it will be the, the main net version once this goes live. And then we have this GPS. So that is an indication of our hash rate. Um, at least that's my understanding of it. Further down, uh, like I said, I've just uh, uh, increased the size of this window just so you can see a little bit more. So we've got our plugin. So that's an indicator of the, the type of miner that we're using. So we're using a CPU miner and it's running the AVX2 uh, mining module. And then further along, we have a graph time. At the moment, I'm not too sure exactly what that refers to. And we've also got an average uh, GPS as well. So that's the miner up and running there. So what I'll show you now is the um, information from the pool side of things. So opening up our web browser and visiting the website or the pool website, it's mwgrinpool.com. So from here, uh, you've got some information. If we go to minor stats, it asks us to log in. So I'm going to use the same details. As what I used for the miner itself. So we just sign in here. So at the moment we haven't picked up any shares. Uh, I think this is only because the miner has really just been running for a few minutes. But this is how you log in. Um, in I know you guys are going to be asking me about payment and things like that. At the moment it's a little bit complicated so I'm not going to cover it in this video. Um, but there is obviously a way to get your payments out of here afterwards. Um, so I'll cover that in a separate video because it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more involved than, than standard. Um, but this is how you log into the pool and confirm your submitting shares, etc. Okay guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you guys are interested in a GPU mining of uh, Grin, then I'll be following up with some extra videos and covering those in details as well. So please, please, please make sure you like this video. Um, if you're not a subscriber, also subscribe as well. Uh, leave a comment as well. Let me know exactly what your thoughts are on this uh, new mineable technology. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.